What's going on, everybody? You guys are watching Pete Talks Movies, and we are talking about Dawn of the Dead, 1978. Let's be honest, one of the greatest zombie films of all time. Now, what I wanted to specifically talk about in this video, in this makeshift garage, trying to survive the zombie apocalypse, yeah, kind of lame, but whatever, uh, I wanted to talk about what if, what if, Roger DeMarco, okay, Peter Washington's buddy, what if he never died? What if he never went back for that bag to hotwire the trucks and got bit and then turned into a zombie and then Peter had to kill him? What if he actually hung around? What would have happened at the end? Well, we know that Flyboy, he died, right? Would it have been the three of them? Would it have been Francine, Peter, and Roger leaving in the helicopter? Or was Roger meant to die anyway in the end? Because I'll tell you right now, you know, being a fan of George Romero's work for so many years and respecting his craft and respecting the way he created zombie films, you know, the, 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 the partnership between Roger and Peter just, it felt incomplete because Peter and Flyboy, Steven, they didn't have that kind of connection that Roger and Peter had, you know? At the end, I was totally excited and glad that Peter decided to not kill himself and go away in the helicopter with Francine. But if Roger was still around, would things have changed? Would Peter maybe have died and it would have been Roger and Francine leaving? I don't know. Because I always wish there was an alternate version. I know there was like 10 different versions edited uh, with um, Dario Argento and whatnot. However, I wonder if there was an alternate version where the roles maybe were switched and maybe it was Peter that got bit and then turned and then got killed and Roger actually made it. So in the comments section down below, let me know what do you think would have been the outcome if Roger had lived and not died? He was definitely one of my favorite characters and it's a shame about what happened to him, but he kind of lost his mind, got a little bit cocky, went back for that bag and that's what ended up happening. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts. If you like these types of videos, hit that red subscribe button and tap that notification bell. So you're always up to date whenever I post something new and uh, tell me what your favorite zombie films are also down below in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like and uh, you know, that's, that's all I got for you on this video. So until next time, keep watching those movies and I'll keep talking about them. See you later.